Greetings from the Fredericktown homestead. I just spent about an hour or maybe a little more down at the mill. They have a 56 inch circular saw that's cutting grade and then cuts cans when they get done with the grade. And um, the reason I stopped was because when they switch from cutting grade to cans, they usually end up with a shim a board that's between three quarters and nothing. And uh, so I asked the boy that sorts this stuff when it comes off the saw. He says, I'm gonna, I said, I'm gonna stand here for a bit. And uh, when you get one of them shim boards, it's about a quarter inch, pull it aside for me. And I stood there and I stood there and uh, they changed the blade. That's a circular saw blade. I mean, uh, sorry, not circular. It's a band saw that does the re on to cut the grade. They cut a huge cant that's like 14 by 14, and then it goes through this uh, single blade resaw, bandsaw, and that cuts the, the grade either one inch or whatever the customer's looking for, but normally it's one inch for the grade. And um, yeah, I was watching the, they changed the bandsaw, the actual blade. So that took a few minutes. And the guy running the bandsaw was pretty new to it, so he was uh, not as fast as some of them. But uh, yeah, I stood there for quite a while and they never did come up with a quarter inch that I wanted. So uh, I went over to the pallet shop right next, right next door on the same property. And um, I watched them over there and. I tell you, they got that place set up so well right now that nobody has to hesitate. Everything just flows right through there and they're producing, well, this morning, here it is, what is it, 11 o'clock, and they've already produced seven pallets of, uh, of uh, slats. You know, that's seven times Seven times this amount and since this morning, since 11. And they're just going in for break now. Um, they got it really well set up. And uh, actually, he doesn't think it's well enough set up because he's got uh, new equipment coming for one of his resaws. And. Uh, so they'll be shut down for a few days while they switch over equipment, but uh, boy, it was slick to see how it all worked. He has his uh, circular saw set up so that two poles is a cant, and two poles is three and a quarter inches. And um, of course he rolls it all by hand, and it's an all manual mill, no air, no hydraulics just manual and he's putting logs through there at the rate of about oh I'd say no more than five minutes per log on an average sized log his logs are smaller than what go through the um, the grade sawmill he's not getting 14 out of it but he's getting uh, he's looking for all he's looking for all he's in the market for is three and a quarter inch cans. He doesn't care what it is otherwise. It just has to be three quarter, of an, um, three and a one quarter inches in one di one dimension. And uh, it can be weighing on one side entirely. And then he has a man there, a resaw with two circular saw blades in it and uh, adjustable. And whatever, he gets the pieces that are three and a quarter and um, if they got one flat side then he just edges it so he gets the weight off of it or if it doesn't have a flat side he can just eyeball it and take 
both sides off until he gets a nice clean can. Not too clean because uh, you leave some weight on there because that way you can get the maximum amount of slats out of every stick. They're maximizing very well there. I am really impressed. And very quickly and very efficiently going through and uh, well, I got a phone call. I'll talk to you later.